Hi guys, and welcome to the video. My name is Clinton Lofthouse and you're tuned into photomanipulation.com. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a stylized glitch effect. And this is created in three parts. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art, and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out five videos a week. Let's roll the video. So as I have already mentioned, we are going to do this in three parts. So the first part is creating the RGB effect where we separate the clothes a little bit. We will then use the marquee tool to cut out little slices of the image and make it so they do not align with the rest of the image. So that gives us our glitch effect. And then we are going to create some scan lines what gives us the kind of retro um, computer or TV effect. And once you get all those together, you get a really stylized glitch effect. So let's get on with the tutorial. So first of all, I am going to desaturate this image. Now this is going to be destructive how I do this, but this is the best way to do it. Um, so I'll just warn you that yes, it is destructive. So let's go to adjustments and let's go down to desaturate like so. And then what we want to do is we want to press Ctrl J and duplicate this black and white layer. And then now we've done that, we want to double click on here to bring the uh, layer styles up. And we want to uncheck in the channels here, the red channel and click OK. Now if we press V for the move tool or you can select the move tool on the left hand side here. Click on the image and if you, you can drag with your mouse or your Wacom or if you just start to press the arrow key to the left, it will separate the um, channels. As you can see, we've now got this um, green and red split tone effect. So we want to do this one more time. So let's go down to the bottom layer. Let's press Ctrl J to duplicate that. Let's bring that above this layer. And let's double click to bring up the layer styles. And this time we'll turn off the R and the G in the channels and press OK. Now with our move tool, let's just move that to, let's have a look. So we want to move that to the right. Well, it depends actually. Um, to the left you get blue, to the right you get more of the blue, but it's going purple. I think I prefer the red and the green and the blue that way. So left you get the blue effect, you put it right and you get a sort of purple effect because it's um, merging with the other colours. So that is what I want. I wanted the red, green and blue. So we've got that now. And that looks pretty cool by itself, to be fair. It looks quite um, stylized. But what we want to do now is we want to start cutting out pieces of the image to get the glitch effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control, Alt, Shift and E to create a stamp visible layer. And I'm going to click on the marquee tool here. And we've already got it on the uh, square one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a slice along here. So somewhere like that. And these are, these can be varied. There's no specific size. Just play around. I'm going to then press V. And I'm going to then move this. And then press Control D. And as you can see, we get this splice effect where it's taken a splice of the image and made it. Um, it's unaligned it from the rest of the image so it's not aligned and you get this nice glitch effect so we just keep repeating this over and over again so let's do one here let's make sure we press V for move tool let's move this one this way a little bit and then let's press Control D and then we just repeat this process that one might be a little bit too strong so let's just go back let's just move it a little bit like so now press Control D so just moving a bit so like marquee tool, let's do a big chunk down here like so. V for move tool, let's just then move that a little bit and press Ctrl D and we're getting that cool splice effect. So you can do this as many times as you want, just experiment to see what works for you. I'm just going to do it a few more times here.
just going to keep going, doing little bits. So we've got a massive um, and at the bottom, let's do some smaller ones like so. And maybe you, you still want to be able to see the form of the body and uh, the shape of the body and what's happening. So don't go overboard so you can't really do, see what is going on visually. So let's let there could work. Maybe we'll do one more at the top of the hair uh, here. Something like that. Let's control D. And then let's just crop this as well before we do this scan line. So let's pull that down with the crop tool. So now let's get on with creating the scan line. So what we want to do is create a blank layer. Like so. And then we want to fill that with white. So let's go to edit, fill, white, press OK. Let's just make sure our brush palette is set to black and white, like so. And then let's go to filter, filter gallery. And we want the half tone pattern here. And usually this will be set to something like dot. So it looks like that. But what we want to do is we want to put it to a line. So that's half tone pattern and we set that to line. And then we want to play around with the size of these scan lines. So somewhere like three could work. Let's try maybe four. And that looks good to me. And then what we want to do is just change the blend mode of these from normal to either soft light or overlay. So soft light, I think I actually prefer overlay. So let's click that. And then if we wanted, we could also just pull down the opacity of that a little bit, but I kind of like the, the harsh scan lines like so. Let's press enter. And that is where we could finish. But I mean, we could also add some lens flares into this a little bit or some kind of light leaks. So let's try that just for one final piece. So let's go into this one here. Let's press control A, control C, which is, and then control V. <clears throat> so we've just copied that in there now. And then let's just put this to see, let's see if this works on a, any kind of blend mode. So maybe soft light. Size screen, and we might just have to turn that down a little bit. That could be too strong. So let's put it up here. Let's press enter and let, let, let's lower the uh, opacity on that a little bit somewhere right here. We've just got a little bit of color coming through. a little bit too much let's put that down even more somewhere like 16 percent so we just got a little bit of color coming through there and basically that's it so we've gone through three different techniques here and then added an overlay or at the end we did the rgb separation we then did the separating of the rectangles and making the image so it's not aligned completely so that is the main glitch effect and then we added scan lines and then finally we put an overlay on the top and you get this very stylized glitch effect and it's pretty cool for cyberpunk images or futuristic images so that's it for this tutorial i hope you found this helpful if you did it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe and share this with everyone you know we do truly appreciate all the support so thanks a lot guys and i will see you next time